Hare Krishna. So I got some requests from uh, some of you to do a tutorial video on some of the beats that my student was playing, uh, Srini Kirtan. And uh, so in order to play these beats in Kirtan, you will need to be able to do three things. So the first thing, you'll need to be able to play Bhajan Hatsada number one. Da, ko, te, te. So we're going to go more into that. And then uh, you'll need to be able to play Dhinna uh, Tere Kita. Dhinna Tere Kita. Dhinna Tere Kita. So you'll need to be able to do that slide. And it, um, you can watch our video on how to play advanced mantras. And then uh, you'll also need to be able to play Tere Kita Ta Ta. Or Tak Tak. Abbreviation you will say as Ta Ta. So, so those three you'll need to know. Let's start with the first one. So we'll start with Tako Tete. It goes... So you start with stroke. Ta. Ko. Is closed on the big side. Bhajan style. Te. Index finger in the center. Te. Three fingers. So. Ta. Ko. Te. Ta, ko, te, te. Ta, ko, te, te. Ta, ko, te, te. Te, te. Ta, ko, te, te. Ta, ko, te, te. Ta, ko, te, te. So you'll need to keep practicing this until you can play it at a certain speed. The speed that you're gonna need for kirtan. So this is close to the speed. So that's the speed you're going to need for the kirtan. And the kirtan mantra goes like this. So a little bit slower. And I'll play it simple first. Da te dena gatini da te dena gatini da te dena gatini da te dena gatini. On the big side is very similar to Kaharba. And the small side we're using that. change the slide. You can add more into it. So I'm changing, I'm going and then anywhere in the mantra you can add the slide. So the beat he was playing So I, I do a bounce there. I hit and then I bring the base of my hand to the center. Now all of these are a little more advanced and there are a lot of exercises that you can do to build up to them. 
but you can try adding some of them to the slide. So again, da te te na gudi ni na gudi te na gudi ni da te te na gudi ni na gudi te te na gudi te na te te na gudi ni na gudi. on to the next one and this is Kaharba Lohara style 3 so you, first you're gonna need to know how to play so V stroke and slide V Na index finger Te three fingers Re index If you ever have a trouble with Murdunga, right now my Murdunga strap is a little too long. So I make a, a little loop there, I twist it, and then I pull it through here. Okay. So. Now, you have to work on this until you can play at the speed that you'll use in Kirtan. It's a good idea to have more speed than you need in Kirtan. So then when you're playing in Kirtan, it will sound relaxed and easy. So the speed that uh, Srini is using in the Kirtan. It's quite fast. variation within that section. Okay, 
So the next one is a te hai that you can use. Fast beat te hai. First of all, you're going to need to know how to play. Te, re, ke, te, tak, one finger, tak, again, one finger. Te, re, ke, te, tak, tak, te, re, ke, te, tak, tak. So play with me. So, in a simple way, in the kirtan, we'll go. Again, slower. So, and then uh, Srini in the video he adds an extra part at the end that goes into the next mantra it's and you can remove some of those beats he removes it makes it a little more advanced so to demonstrate So that's 
that's another example of a variation that you can use. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, these beats take a lot of time and, and I skipped over some of the basics. Like Shrini, he's done a lot of Bhajan Hatsada mantras. He's done a lot of Hatati mantras. He's really worked you know, on Hatsada and he's been learning since he was five. So don't feel discouraged if this is difficult for you right, right in the beginning. Um, it's a good idea to have someone that can give you some feedback. So if there's anyone in your community that you might know, uh, it's, it's a good idea to play these mantras and then show them what it should look like and ask them you know, whether you're playing it with good technique, whether it looks the same. And, and you can watch the videos I made um, on hand position and technique and get some feedback from someone, ideally someone who's learned in a Sampradaya. So um, someone maybe who learned from Hare Krishna Haldar or my teacher Radha Govinda Prabhu or uh, from um, Bablu and Vrindavan or uh, there's Master Pamka, these are all uh, great teachers from India. Uh, if you're also interested, I, I do Skype lessons, so that, that's also an option for you. Um, but yeah, feedback is very essential. Sometimes we practice things and we think, well, oh, we're, doing it, we're doing it well, and then if we don't get any feedback, we don't know, and we might be practicing bad habits. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, thank you very much. Again, um, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Hare Krishna.